Sarah Shalepi is 17. Ben Shalepi is 14. For a teenage brother and sister, they seem to get along well. The day I met them, they were hitching up a team of four draft horses. I'm just putting the lead rope up on the hame so we can grab him if we need him. And they're out of the way. Hey Sarah, ask him if it goes on the halter ring or the side. Sarah and Ben are homeschooled. Every Wednesday, they have a horse driving lesson. The kids are learning how to plant and plow. Ben says it's all in your hands. You gotta keep feeling the lines in your hands against their mouths. Like that. You kinda, you can feel it through the reins. I love everything about it. <laughs> ben and Sarah live on a biodynamic farm. It's about 760 acres, not far from Medford. Their parents have installed solar panels and see using draft power as a way to reduce their fossil fuel use. The kids don't talk about that very much. They just seem at home, working with the animals. Their teacher, Ron Martinson, is 73. He says Sarah and Ben are exceptional students. These days, most people don't have the patience to drive a horse. They kind of think it's like a car. You just kind of turn the switch and everything works, you know what I mean? But that isn't the way it works. It takes a little uh, practice, you know, lots of practice. Isn't that right? Martinson has been driving horse teams most of his life. I started when I was eight years old in North Dakota. My cousin would run the cultivator, and I'd lead the horse, big white horse, and we'd cultivate the garden and the potatoes and stuff like that. That was our job. <laughs> so. That was the 1950s. Even then, a tractor had replaced almost every draft team in America outside of Amish country. Now, Martinson says, you're more likely to find a draft horse at a Budweiser event than on a farm in the Pacific Northwest. Martinson keeps his horses working because he loves to work them. And he wants to pass that knowledge on to Sarah and Ben. Today, they're harrowing a pasture. We're doing the job we normally do with the tractor. It's uh, aerating like a golf course, and it's pulling the dead grass and spreading the uh, manure. You get the benefit of it like fertilizer. Sarah and Ben are buying a pair of smaller Clydesdales from Martinson. They get to bring them home this summer. The kids say having their own horse team will cut down on the work they do with a tractor and save a little money in fuel. You know, we have a lot of timber, so we're going to bring all of our firewood in with the horses, and so we won't be putting the fuel in the tractors and the trucks, so we'll save money that way. If we hay again, when we hay, we'll probably try and do most of it with the horses. Ben says the horses' hooves are gentle and damage the soil less than a tractor, especially in the winter when the ground gets soggy. But the best part, Sarah says, is having another partner on the farm. They're an animal. They have a personality, a tractor, you just shut it off. And <laughs> horses, you don't just shut off. you got to feed them and talk to them, and, and they have personalities. <laughs>